हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे सम स्टूडेंट्स जॉइन अस विथ फर्स्ट टाइम सो वी सेल रिपीट द समरी ऑफ लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव वी हैव स्टार्टेड डिफरेंशिएशन फर्स्ट यूनिट डिफरेंशिएशन differentiation or derivative differentiation or derivative we have given the definition of differentiation if y is equal to f x is a given function of a variable x at the value of a x is equal to a the function is denoted by f a if the value of x is a plus h then function is denoted by f, f of a plus h f of a plus h minus f a shows the change in change the values of the function and f of a plus h minus f a upon h shows the relative change in the value of function if h is then ratio this ratio is said to be derivative of the function at s equal to a and it is denoted by f less a for any value of x the derivative is denoted by f less x if function is form of y then we denote it by dy by dx or d by dx of f x This three are the notation of the derivative. We have done differentiation in the first chapter. And in the first differentiation, we have done first chapter. So, we have done chapter one. I have done definition. 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 And on this one, see f plus x dy by dx or dy by dx of that. So first we write definition, and then after we start the examples on definition. So open your notebook and write down. Suppose y is equal to f x. Suppose y is equal to f x is a is a function of function of continuous variable x suppose y is equal to f x is a function of continuous variable x at x is equal to a at x is equal to a The function is denoted by f a. At x equal to a, the function is denoted by f a. When the value of x, when the value of x changes from a to a plus h, when the value of x Change the change is change from a to a plus h. The value of function, the value of function will also change from f a to f a plus h. Again, again, suppose y is equal to f x is a function of a continuous variable x. At x is equal to a, the function is denoted by f a. If the value of x changes from a to a plus h, the value of function will also change from f a to f of a plus h. So, f of a plus h 
माइनस एफ ए सो एफ ऑफ ए प्लस एच माइनस एफ ए सोस सोस द डिफर सोस द डिफरेंस इन सो एफ ऑफ ए प्लस एच माइनस एफ ए सोस द डिफरेंस इन द वैल्यू ऑफ फंक्शन सोस द डिफरेंस इन द वैल्यू ऑफ ए फंक्शन एंड 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 एफ ऑफ ए प्लस एच माइनस एफ ए अपॉन एच एंड एफ ऑफ ए प्लस एच माइनस एफ ए अपॉन एच सोस सोस द रिलेटिव चेंज सोस द रिलेटिव चेंज in the value of function and f of a plus h minus f a upon s so the relative change in the value of function if the value of h if the value of h is made very very small If the value of h is made very very small, then limit of this ratio, then the limit of this ratio is said to be is said to be derivative of said to be the derivative of the function. At x is equal to a, derivative of the function at x is equal to a, and it is denoted by f s a, and it is denoted by f s a. Therefore, f s a is equal to Therefore, f s a is equal to limit h tends to zero. L I M short form of limit. Limit h tends to zero. F in bracket a plus h minus f a upon h. For any value of x, for any value of x. We write f s x is equal to for any value of x, f s x is equal to limit x tends to zero, f of x plus h minus f x upon h, f of x plus h minus f x upon h. If y is equal to f x, if y is equal to f x is a given function, if y is equal to f x is a given function, then its derivative is denoted by, then its derivative is denoted by dy by dx, or f s x or d by d x of f x d by d x of f x So this is the definition of the derivative. 
we have given always the fx from fx we have to obtain f of x plus z and after simplification we can get the derivative of the function which is denoted by f plus x we have taken one example very simple example yesterday today we shall start some more examples on it एक मिनट विद्यार्थी मित्रों थोड़ा इंटरप्शन लगे और आजा साथ से कॉन्टेक्ट कर लो There is some mistake in computer. Now we shall start some examples. Suppose f x is equal to two x. Obtain differentiation of the given function by definition. Definition f x x is equal to limit x tends to zero. f of x plus x minus f x upon x. f x is always given. From f x we have to write. We have to obtain f of x plus x. For this, put right x plus x whenever x in right hand side comes. जमीन बाजू ना पदों में जहाँ जहाँ x और यहाँ क्या x plus x लगता है. Here we have only one term, two x. We have to write in place of x, x plus x. Write down yourselves in your notebook. Some students write two x plus x. So this is wrong. For this, we have to write in bracket two into x plus x. We have to write x plus x in place of x. Not add x plus x in the term. After term mark, x will not be there. X is just x plus x. Let's write it. 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 Let's We simplify this term. Two x plus two x multiplied with two. There is no further simplification. Now write the definition. F plus x limit x tends to zero. F of x plus x minus f x upon x limit x tends to zero. In place of f. X plus x, we write two x plus two x minus f x. It is two x upon h. Two x minus two x cancel. Limit x tends to zero. Two x upon h. Again, x x cancel. The term is remaining. Limit x tends to two. There is no h in the final term. Chilla padma apan h mordo na thi. So h no sanket apan jaldi ne kimo lakhani par jaldi na thi, which is equal to two. So if the function is two x, its derivative, its differentiation is two. Yesterday we have taken the example of f x equal to x, and we got result answer. It is one. Derivative of x is one. We have obtained. Let us take another example three.
another third example fx equal to x square we have to obtain this term fx plus h in place of x write x plus h write yourself in your notebook and check whether it is true or not Some students write x square plus h. Some more intelligent students write x square plus h square. And some students write x plus h whole square. Among these three results, only one is true. Here the function is x square. We have to put x plus x in place of x. In place of x, we have to write x plus x, and then divide it to x plus x square. These both are wrong. Now simplify this this result. Quadratic equation, you know, a plus b whole square or x plus y whole square. तो मैं जीदा समय का नो साधु रूपी है बत्ता भी ना वर्ग मात्र तो x बत्ता y ना वर्ग मात्र याद रख ले लूँ चाहे। There are three terms, x square, middle term two x h plus x square. Simplification of the x plus h whole square. Then Put the formula of the differentiation. F plus x is equal to limit x tends to zero. F of x plus x minus f x upon h. F of x plus h, x squared plus two x x plus s squared minus f x x squared upon h x squared x squared cancel remaining terms two x x plus x squared upon h now you see that in numerator part both the terms have h common. So we take x common, 2x plus h upon h. H x cancel. Now you have the term 2x plus h. And then after put h is equal to zero whenever h. A third no h cancel the jay jar bar. Do parinam ma h jau to hoy. तो If you understand, then it is very easy to solve the example. Take for the example Three x square minus five. F x is equal to three x square minus five. Now write down the term f of x plus x yourselves in your notebook. Put x plus x whenever x in right hand side. जहाँ जहाँ x से जमने बाजू में आते हैं तो x को तत्काल चुकिए. 
So three x plus h whole square minus five. Then I will write them as such. Then I will write them as three x plus h square. ब्रैकेट कर बोझ पड़े थ्री यू नो दिस सिंपलीफिकेशन ऑफ एस एक्स प्लस एस स्क्वायर एक्स स्क्वायर टू एक्स एच प्लस एस स्क्वायर माइनस फाइव फाइव इज अ कांस्टेंट देयर इज नो वेरिएबल विद फाइव इट इज अ कांस्टेंट टर्म अगेन मल्टीप्लाई the bracket term with 3 3x square plus 6xh plus 3x square minus 5 final term f of x plus h we have obtained now write down the definition now write down the f Definition: F plus x is equal to limit x change to zero. F of x plus h minus f x upon h. F of x plus h means three x square plus six x h plus three x square minus five. The four terms are of f of x plus h minus f x minus f x. Write down yourselves. One of our students have written three x square minus five. What the fuck are you looking for? अपॉन एच Three x square plus six x h plus three x square minus five minus three x square plus five upon h. Three x square minus three x square cancel plus five minus five cancel. Remaining term. Six x h plus three x square upon h. In numerator part, both term have h common. Take h common from both the terms. Limit h tends to zero. H common. Six x plus three h upon h. Now cancel h. Limit h tends to zero. Six x plus three h. And now put x is equal to zero wherever h in remaining terms. The chhedno h cancel chale jaye tyar baad. Jhaan jhaan ya chau to hoy kya kya tumi zero shakho chho. So six x plus three into zero, which is equal to six x. So derivative of three x square minus five is six x. The five is constant term. The five constant term is omit. Answer.
Suppose f x is equal to two x cube. From f x, we have to obtain f of x plus x, and you know very well how to obtain f of x plus x. Two in place of x, write x plus x. Now simplification of x plus x whole cube. We have learned about in standard eight or seven. Expansion. Which is that we have three types of expansion. Four types, three types, four types, and then we have some other types. Now, let's see. 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 3x square h plus 3x x square plus h cube. You must know simplification of a plus b whole cube or x plus y whole cube or x if x plus h whole cube. Var gane ganu istran yad ho jaye. Kadaj yad nahi, apne naam nahi aur to. Par bhi ano to yad chhe samne. सिंप्लीफिकेशन ऑफ एक्स प्लस एक्स स्क् x square plus 2x h plus x square, and then multiplied by x plus h, we will get this term after two or three step. If you remember that, you have to know. So, I will tell you that we will show x plus h whole cube, x cube 3x square h plus 3x square plus h cube. Multiply both the term. Get to two x cube six x squared six x x squared plus two h cube two h. Now put ten in the definition. Two x cube plus six x square h, six x square plus two h cube. Value of f of x plus h. Two x cube six x square h, six x x square plus two h cube minus f x. The f x. Is only one term. We cannot write in it in bracket. A cash pachi, how small a coin is going to be? Minus two x cube upon h. Cancel the term two x cube and two x cube. Remaining terms two x square h. Sorry, six x square h. Six x square plus two h cube upon h. Now further, you proceed. Now you can do example yourselves. Or to me, just carry some so better example at night. Not here. Six to nine cancel. Carry some upon that. Eight put my H. So H. H common. Let me take H common from all the terms of numerator part. H. Six X square. Six H. X H plus two X square. अपॉन एच पची दिन प्रोसीजर सर्किट चल रहा है सर्किट करी शको एच एच कॉन कैंसल सिक्स एक्स प्लस प्लस सिक्स एक्स एच प्लस टू एक्स प्लस 
एन नाउ पुट एच इज इक्वल टू 0 व्हेन एवर एच जहां जहां एच हो त्यां पे एच की कीमत शून्य में मुकी सके सु कारण के एच शून्य में नजदीक जाय छे शून्य में नहीं जाय छे हम मान लिए लिमिट ऑफ सिद्धांत छे छेद में एच हो त्यां सुधी एच का स्थान शून्य में मुकी सकता नहीं छेद में एच कैंसिल हो तो मुकी सके छे गुणाकार में सरोला में एच शून्य हो सके सो 6x स्क्वायर प्लस 6x इनटू 0 Plus two into zero square. This both terms will be zero. Answer is six x square. So we can write it as x is equal to two x cube. F plus x is equal to six x square. अब ना जब वो लकीर आज जो बच्ची आपने उपयोग करी शो Next example. Suppose f x is equal to two x cube plus five. Obtain f of x plus h. Two x plus h cube plus five. Plus five. Your result plus five. My result is equal to the number of free things you have. So simplification of x plus s cube plus five. Next plus five. Put that in the definition. First write down definition. F plus x. Limit h tends to zero. F of x plus h minus f x upon h. Now value of f of x plus h. There are five terms. Two x cube plus six x square h. Six x x square. Plus two x cube plus five. F of x plus h. Minus of x. There are two terms, so we will write in bracket two x cube plus five upon h. एक करता वधारे पौधों तो काउंस माल अपो बढ़े। Two x cube plus five। Give simplification for this term। Two x cube, six x square h, six x square plus two x cube plus five। Minus, minus Two x cube minus five upon h. अब रे बिजनी सामी ना थी, तो हमने कहा था सुतावर लाती होए तो पर मने खबर ना थी चलता है पने तो जीरो करवा प्रयत्न करे रही है। Next example. Two x cube cancel plus five and minus five cancel. Six x square h plus six x square plus two x cube upon h. X and a constant term were able to cancel together. A cube x y cube and a cube constant term. Next term x sabi guna kar wala ke apad rahe. Abhi ni procedure khabar shi to me kari shapo. Take x common, six x square, six x h 
plus 2x square upon h. Take s common from numerator. Now h and h cancel. Limit h tends to 0. 6x square plus 6x plus 2x square. And now put s equal to 0. This both the term have h. It will be 0. Answer is 6x square. Answer 6x square. Now you see that if fx is equal to 2x cube, its derivative of fx is 6x square. If fx is equal to 2x cube plus 5, then also f plus x is equal to 6x square. Two x cube minus ten plus hundred. The corporate constant of Omiri ke baad kar so to differentiation badla se nahi. Agar hum upyo kar so, ayad rakhwa nuse. Derivative of two x cube six x. Jema jema x se anu derivative thay se upar dhyan mali so. Jai x nathi tanu derivative nathi to. X y terms to variable hoy to the derivative constant tamu derivative zero hoy. To apne sabit kari bata vishu. परिणाम मार्क स्पेयर ने क्यों बढ़ा रही है इसी नेक्स्ट एग्जांपल एफएक्स इज इक्वल टू 1 minus 4x minus 5x square. 1 minus 4x minus 5x square. Put x plus x whenever x. Here 1 is constant, remains same minus 4 in place of x we have to write x plus h minus 5 x plus h whole square 1 new simplification minus 4x minus 4h minus 5 simplification of x plus h whole square x square plus 2x square, sorry, x square plus 2xh plus x square. Again, okay, give simplification, minus 4x minus 4h minus 5x square minus 10xh minus 5x square. Now there is no further simplification. This is the last term. Now write down one minus four x minus four h minus five x square minus ten x h. Minus five x square minus fx. In fx we have three terms, so we have to write in bracket one minus five four x minus five x square upon x upon x one minus four x minus four x minus five x square minus ten x h. Minus 5 square minus 1 
plus 4x plus 5x square. Sign will be changed for the bracket term. Minus 4x and plus 4x cancel. Plus 1 and minus 1 cancel. Minus 5x square and plus 5x square cancel. Remaining terms are minus 4x, minus 10xh, minus 5x square upon x. Now further procedure is same for all example. Take h common from the numerator part. Upon h, h x cancel. Minus four minus ten x minus five x. And now put x is equal to zero whenever h. In minus four there is no h. Minus ten x no h. Minus five into zero. So final answer minus four minus ten x. Now we shall wait next lecture and we can do some more example on it.